What's up everybody? Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to assist feed a uh, baby ball python. Um, this one hasn't um, eaten for me. I've uh, assist fed it last week um, a baby uh, pinky mouse. And I've tried feeding her frozen thawed um, uh, rat pups, live mouse hoppers, live mouse pinkies. Um, she's not eating anything, so I'm going to show you guys how to basically assist feed. And this is a little bit different than force feeding. Force feeding would be like sticking a tube down their throat and forcing like food down their throat. This is just basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a small pinky halfway down her throat and just hold it there. And then she should be, um, she should swallow it from there. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get the snake from behind the head. I know it's, it's going to be kind of like, looks like I'm hurting her, but I'm not really going to be hurting her. So right behind the head like that. Okay. Your fingers behind the jaws and don't let her get like, basically don't let her get a good grip around you or she's going to fight you. So I'm basically going to tuck her. Let's see if I can get you guys a good angle. It's going to be difficult for me to show you guys. So it's going to be like upside down, but so basically what you're going to do is you're going to get the you're going to get the pinky and you're going to stick it in the tip of her mouth. And she should open her mouth if you if you hold her jaw the right way. And you just kind of wiggle it in there. See if she should open. And you just kind of shove the head in there. I hope I'm getting this on camera. You just gotta kind of shove it in her throat a little bit, and she's gonna fight. That's why you can't let her get a good grip on you. See, I, I let her slip. Okay. And they will pee and poop on you every once in a while, so just watch out for it. See, I'm not, I'm not trying to force it too much, but I'm trying to get it in there. And it's good to start with something small, like a small pinky, because. You can get it pretty good in there to the point where she can't really spit it out. See, like, it's like the head's all the way in there, so she can't, she can't, like, wiggle it out. Got some sharp teeth. There you go. So I'm going to keep her body from being able to coil it out. So just push it in there a little bit. See, she's going to try to spit it out. If you can just get it in there. Like halfway. I know it looks like looks like a bad thing that I'm doing. And it's gonna take you a couple tries to get her to do it. But if you get it just right, she should eat it. So I'm gonna leave her like that. I'm gonna put her in she's gonna shove it a little bit more in there just to make sure she can't get it out. Push it a little bit more in there. Like that. It's kind of a weird angle. It's not hurting her, but the thing's small enough to where she can't spit it out. So she's she's forced to basically swallow it. So you're gonna see right now that that she's eating it. You see that? Let me uh, give me a second. Let me take the camera off the tripod. See, she can't really spit it out. She's trying to. Oh, sorry guys let me take the camera off the tripod I just took the camera off the tripod and I set her down so let's see what happens you see the only thing I had to do is really just kind of get the head in her throat like is like a good quarter of a quarter to like half of a uh, that little pinky mouse in its mouth just so it, it couldn't spit it out if you try to go with something bigger it's gonna be a little bit easier for it to spit it out so you might have to do this like once or twice a week if you want to get a good like good feeding in there or get them sized up and this is just temporary um, eventually they'll they'll figure it out and they'll start eating on their own you see that so I didn't have to like shove the whole thing the whole thing down her throat you just do it a little bit and she'll do her thing. You know, it's not one of my favorite things to do, but it's something like if you guys want to breed ball pythons or if you ever buy one and it just doesn't eat for you and 
only if you buy it as a baby. If it's eaten before in its life, this is not something that you're really going to have to do unless it's like a medical emergency. But since she's just a baby and she's like a newborn, it's just taking her a little while to figure out how to eat. And um, in the wild, she might have starved to death. But see, so this is something good to know, guys, because I guarantee it. I guarantee you that if you breed ball pythons, this is going to be something that you're going to have to do. I had to do this with one of my pastel babies last year, and then she turned out to be a really good eater. See that? Awesome. Now I'm going to do it to one more snake, um, so you guys can, I don't know, maybe I can get a better look as to how to do it. Awesome. Okay, again, what you sometimes have to do, let's try to put it this way, is basically kind of tuck them into you um, so that they can't really grab anything. Sorry guys, I'm trying to film this. This is like impossible with me just by myself. Yeah, so you gotta just like tuck them into your body. You see this right here? Just like tuck them so they have no grip. And then, same thing. Just wiggle it, they'll open their mouth. You gotta put a little bit of pressure. Come on, there you go. Come on, sweetie. Oh, she's not having it. Oh, lost my grip on her, so just reset. You know, let her crawl out a little bit. Let her kinda try to get away. And then, boom, got her. So, just like that. Sweetheart, and then stick her, stick it in there like that. Their teeth are, they're sharp at this age, but they're not, it's not anything that's gonna kill you. I'll let her body go so I can try to stick this in there. I know this is kind of horrible to watch, but. So, got her like that. I'll see if I'll see if she starts taking it. So I'm gonna bring her closer to me so I can get a little grip on there. So we'll see if she takes it. So again, I just put the head in into her throat a little bit, put a little bit of pressure so that the head went in a little bit. But I have almost half the body in there. So hopefully that was enough to do the do the deed. So you can see guys, she's got a little bit more than half of it in her mouth now. So at this point, we're looking good. She should really start swallowing now. I cut the camera because she she just kept fighting, like fighting it and just trying to get it out of her mouth, but now it looks like she's finally taking it down. Awesome. See, some just take longer than others. See, now she's just, she's killing it. She's putting in work now. She's realizing I'm not gonna be able to get that out of my mouth, so. I hope that this video has taught you guys something and or just kind of gave you guys like a, an idea of basically another like, not worst case scenario, but just a last resort scenario. So. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of dislikes for this video, but it's something that everyone needs to know. It's better to have a snake that, that's alive than dead, right? So, any anybody else that wants to chime in and, um, you know, offer some tips, go ahead and put them down in the comments. Um, you know, this is something that we can all participate in and just kind of give what you guys have done in the past, you know, to help out the new people. Because I get asked all the time, like, hey, my snakes aren't eating, like, what should I do? So this is a good way for me to kind of like keep this video saved on my channel so I can just refer people to it, you know, in the future. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically soak her in warm water and just, you know, give her a bath, let her let her hydrate, you know what I mean? Just keep her keep her good. There we go. She should be giving me one big one big yawn any minute now. Fix her jaw. Come on, sweetheart, give everybody a yawn, a big one. 
stretch your jaw. There goes the tongue flick. There we go. It's going to give us a big yawn. Come on. <laughs>